A healthy leasing cycle is the heartbeat of any property management business. Done right, good leasing can fill a vacant unit with a quality resident quickly and on a steady beat. When it's less than ideal though, it can be a repetitive drain on your business. But how do you know if you're knocking it out of the park with your leasing cycle or not? We're already seeing signals that this leasing season is going to be different than in years past, which makes it even more important to take a microscope to your own processes to make sure you're creating the best renter experience possible while paying extra attention to the time and money invested. In this video, we'll go through the eight ways to maximize your lead to lease conversion by digging into how to protect both of those valuable commodities. Fred from Buildium here, the platform that helps property managers master their everyday operations, make the residents feel at home and take on more doors. Today, we are talking all about the lead to lease conversion, where and how to measure it, along with some helpful tips to get you thinking like a technician throughout your process. So let's get to it with how to look at the whole picture first. Number one, define your lead to lease flow and channel measurement. What do we mean when we talk about a lead to lease conversion? Think of it like a funnel. To boil it down, we are considering your efficiency down to the pipeline, starting with your leads you get, continuing to showings, and closing with an electronic lease. No matter what, you want to be measuring your conversion rates and understanding the channels that deliver the best leads. So let's talk about the most efficient way to get the word out to renters about a vacancy. Number two, consider all your listing options, especially the free ones. While there are paid listing sites readily available, if you can fill a vacancy and get good leads through a free channel, then why wouldn't you? According to research from Tenant Turner, the majority of leads actually originate from free listing sites. Zillow is starting to charge in some markets, but there are plenty of other options still available through sites like Zumper or Facebook Marketplace. A metric you'll want to look at to measure profitability is your cost per lead. Take the dollar amount of your ad spend, which could include any listing fees, and divide it by the amount of leads you actually got. And you can further segment this number by lead source to evaluate its performance. Pro tip, you can save tons of time by syndicating your free paid listings through property management software with the click of a button. Number three, respond to every inquiry within minutes. Yes, minutes. When renters are motivated, you know they'll be looking at your properties. In fact, you are 40% more likely to actually connect with them if you contact a lead within one to two minutes versus 24 hours later. Now, it's not always feasible to hop right on a call, but there are tools available that can help you automatically respond, screen, and schedule all your motivated renters. Number four, choose the right renters. Now, this goes without saying, you want someone in your rentals for the long haul. The best way to run through background checks is through a screening partner like TransUnion. But regardless of the speed and efficiency of your screening, you want to look at the quality of the renters downstream to get a true read. You can do this by honing in on your turnover ratio, how often your units churn and average arrears, or the average debt that's owed to you over a given period, usually weekly or monthly. Number five, present alternative listings to motivated renters. Once you have an interested renter in hand, make sure you suggest other rentals that you manage if their first choice doesn't work out. Be sure to highlight the listings on your website by automating your follow-up emails as well. From the State of the Property Management Industry Report, we found that the percentage of renters that wanted to apply for rentals online increased 15% from 2018 to 2019. Make sure that your rental application process is smooth so you don't miss out. Number six, automate and virtualize your showings. Social distancing or just star for time, technology can help you adapt your showings process to what works for you. Not only can you automate scheduling and set up self showings for appropriated single family rentals, you can make the showings process completely virtual with 3D camera technology like Matterport. Number seven, don't lose the human touch. Thanks to technology, social distancing doesn't have to mean a lack of human connection. Just because you may have everything 100% automated throughout your leasing cycle doesn't mean you shouldn't focus on the relationship with them. Not only will you best prepare them with the move-in details they need to know, but you'll also set expectations on how they can best communicate with you. 
consider working a video conference meeting into your process like Zoom. It will give you a chance to truly onboard them and demonstrate any technology you want to highlight, like an online residence center where they can pay rent and submit maintenance requests. Number eight, stay focused on the long game. In times of hustle and stress, it's easy to lose focus on the big picture and how it's hitting your bottom line. You can stay grounded by regularly revisiting property management KPIs that best measure your leasing business success. Some other KPIs that you should track on a monthly basis are average days to lease, vacancy and occupancy rates, and how your leasing contributes to your overall revenue as a profit center. And of course, the best lead to lease conversion is the 100% that you get when a good resident renews a lease. And that just about does it. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned some practical actions you can take to treat your leasing conversion like a true technician with technology that has your back. I'm Fred from Buildium, and until next time.